Hi, I'm John from WorkshopAddict.com. Today I want to talk to you about clamps, but more specifically I want to talk to you about the K-Body Revo clamps from Bessie and the Juniors. Um, as you may know, you probably know, there are tons of different kinds of clamps. There's spring clamps, there's the quick ratchet clamps, there's bar clamps, and you've got your pipe clamps, and there's a few other ones like strap clamps. Um, all of them serve a good purpose and they do what they do well most of them do but recently I've gotten some of these k-body clamps and they are spectacular um, there's something about these that make them stand out from the rest specifically with what I'm doing now for instance I've been cleaning up cutting boards and each one of these different colors is another strip of wood and the most important part about gluing these up is keeping these squeeze nice and tight together so there's no gaps in between the wood if you do you basically your cutting board shot so squeezing your boards together consistently evenly and keeping the the gap shut is important and these k-body clamps do this extremely well um, I first got these juniors they're 12 inches long and what makes these unique from the other clamps that I've used I've always looked at these, I've wanted these, but I haven't bought them until recently. And I got a set of these, and there's some very unique things about these. First off, when you pick these up, they're heavy. It's a bar clamp. It's got a very aggressive acne thread up here. So when you're screwing it down, you're able to put pressure, put some force, and not worry about the stripping out. Um, the juniors here have a clamping pressure of I believe 1200 pounds of clamping pressure if you can turn it hard enough you can get that out of it that's huge that's tremendous um, there's a three and a quarter inch shoe on these and these shoes have get these out of the way they have removable plastic uh, faces on them so if you get some glue on them you can get it cleaned up if you have to if you damage it you can rotate them around um, these clamps also, all these clamps can also be used as a spreader. It has a foot on the back here. So if you're clamping up something like this and you want the clamps vertically, this foot will keep it from tipping. If you didn't have it, it wouldn't be level and you want to keep your stuff level. Easier it is to work with, the better. But if you take this little back foot off, you can turn these into a spreader. Now I've never needed a use for a spreader, but it's just that simple. As soon as you get that through, now you have a spreader. I don't use that feature once, I'm more of a glue-up person, but uh, these K-Body clamps give you that option. I like them so much that I decided to go out and purchase the 24-inch. Um, these, no, these are not the juniors, and they have a 1,500-pound clamping pressure, clamping force on them. Uh, another thing I wanted to point out, in these bar clamps, and you'll see them if you check them out, this is something to look at. Um, I've seen some of the other brands and the bar is smooth along here. With these, the Bessies, they have uh, ridges on three of the sides. Not just on this top surface, but on the front edge and the back edge too. That allows this clamp to actually bite into that, bite into those grooves and you can get some more clamping pressure. So that's kind of one of the things that make these unique from the others. But again, these 24 inches. These are heavy duty. These are solid and heavy. I was surprised at the weight. Um, this one has a three and a quarter inch shoe. Now, I used to do a lot of my gloops with pipe clamps. The only issues I have with pipe clamps, they do a great job of clamping pressure. But on your clamping face, when you go screwing it down, this will tend to actually tilt a little bit back. The head will swivel on it. So you might not have the full amount of force going horizontally in the direction of the bar. It might actually be going off in a direction, uh, vertically or off on a, an angle, which can leave you gaps. Also, the clamping face on a pipe clamp really is about an inch, inch and a half. So if you've got a larger workpiece, you're not clamping the top, just the bottom. These work great in certain situations and I've lived and died by them for years, but I have had some projects that this would have helped out a lot better and I wouldn't have had the gaps um, a three and a three and three quarter inch face right here is a lot of clamping surface and this does an extremely good job of keeping all of your clamping pressure horizontal with this bar huge huge benefit when clamping up 
larger pieces. Now, you'll notice there's some clips on this bar. These come with them, you get a set of two, and these clips can either be used up here by in between your clamping surfaces, and that's to keep your woodwork um, off of this bar, keep it above a little bit, or it can be put in the back as a foot to keep it stable, but you have that one back here too. So um, right now I've just been using them, I just take them off and I put them in a drawer so I have them, but they're nice to have. I've rambled on a bit about the clamps. I'm gonna show you them in action. Beyond the cutting boards, I've been making these bent lamination picture frames that I've seen online recently. And uh, the trickiest part with this is you've got approximately five pieces of very thin strips and um, I'm not going to go into detail on this, but when you glue them up, if you don't keep a lot of clamping pressure on them and keep it even, you'll end up with one where on the bottom side or even on the top side, there's going to be gaps and it's going to show. And it, you know, from far away, it looks fine, but when you get up close, you look at it and you're like, well, could have done a better job. Um, once I got these clamps and I built this little form, the clamping pressure has been even and uh, the results have been spectacular. So I'm going to show you these quickly how well they work and uh, hopefully gives you a better idea how well these perform. Once you get the clamps going, you can start screwing this down. Get a little pressure on it and then it gets easier because you can stand this whole unit up, start squeezing them together. Once I run out of a little bit of thread on this, Pick up another set. These handles on these clamps are a nice soft plastic and it's extremely easy to work with. It's the right size for the hand and you can really Put some pressure on it with your wrists. Once we get it all squeezed up, you can just let the glue set and uh, your project's taken care of. The nice part is you can really, really squeeze your pieces together and see where you've got gaps. And if you do, you can make adjustments and tighten down. But um, these clamps have really, I love these clamps. Um, I'm sold. I've got six of them now, and I imagine in the next couple of years I'm going to buy a few more, and I'm going to be in heaven with the clamps. Like they say, you can never have too many clamps. So this is the Bessie K-Body Revo clamps and the Revo Juniors. Um, I'm John from WorkshopAddict.com. Talk to you later.